One thing you keep asking me sa comments is what to wear pagdating sa job interviews. So today, we're going to talk about four outfits that you can put up with just this and this. That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi everyone, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of a series of videos I post entitled Get Hired. Now, that's a playlist to help you guys get your dream job. And today is a very special video kasi kung nakikita ninyo, wala tayo sa kwarto ngayon. Medyo tumaas ang level ng very, very, hindi slight eh, pero sobra-sobra. And that's because we had the privilege to shoot right here sa pop-up space ng YouTube. So, thank you YouTube for this opportunity and of course for everyone who worked sa background. Sa totoo lang, nahihirapan ako kasi ang daming tao eh. Uh, pero adjust adjust din kasi level up na tayo ngayon. So like I promised you guys, we're going to use just these two pieces na pwede nyo gamitin for all those four types of jobs. And we're going to start dun sa ladder sa pinaka-conservative. So parang i-draw natin yung spectrum from pinaka-conservative hanggang pinaka-casual. So yung first na outfit would be yung pinaka-conservative na set. Now, pag sinabi natin conservative, this will be yung mga jobs na siguro nasa admin side for companies na traditional. So, for example, you're applying sa isang accounting firm, sa isang law firm, as an admin assistant or HR person, all of these na mga traditional na office work, ito yung i-recommend ko na kaya pa rin at swak pa rin sa budget. Because one thing na I think na kaya ninyong bilhin kahit saan, uh, depende sa budget niyo kung from ukay hanggang sa mga medyo high-end na stores or yung two basic pieces na ito, which is yung white long sleeve na shirt and of course, yung black na pants. So, para natin isa stallion for the first position. Again, pinaka-conservative, you're going to start out with something like yung white shirt, black pants, and then magpa-play tayo on ano yung mga iadadagdag ninyo. So, usapang blazer. Pagdating sa blazer, ang blazer nyo dapat, ay nasa black, okay? So, black blazer, white shirt, black pants, and then your shoes have to be a little bit conservative as well. So, don't go all creative sa mga grays or mag-boots kayo or mag-rubber shoes kayo kasi nga, we're talking about admin work. So, one safe bet would be black shoes. Pwede na rin siguro doll shoes for the girls. And then, just leather na black na shoes na very simple, which I think you can also get from anywhere. So, yung mga fresh grad dyan, I think magagamit nyo pa rin kahit pa paano yung mga shoes na require sa inyo dun sa final year ninyo sa college. And then, that would be your outfit. Now, pagdating sa accessories, again, keep it simple din. Dapat classy tayo dahil medyo conservative nga yung position. So, you stick with your basics. One go-to piece that I always have ay isang decenten na pair ng pearl earrings. The beauty about pearl earrings is you can wear it sa casual, pwede na rin sa medyo mas formal. Lalo na kung wala ka pa masyadong budget sa pagbili ng mga proper gold na mga accessories. You can get away with pearls. Sa necklace naman, hindi naman na kailangan ng sobrang bonggang statement piece. And then of course, your watch. Very important yung watch kasi throughout the entire interview process, very important na maaga kayo at of course that you keep track of time. Pagdating sa shoes, again, keep it simple, keep it black. That way, timeless din siya. And uh, kung ma medyo mas na-expand naman yung wardrobe ninyo, you can just switch up yung pinaka-top ninyo. So kung meron kayong ibang long sleeve na shirts, kung hindi siya white or any other color, the same ensemble can work for those as well. Doon naman tayo sa outfit number two. So again, ito yung semi-conservative na maitatawag. Anong mga positions yung pwede yung gamitin dito? Yung siguro something like a training specialist, instructor, curriculum developer, yung mga role na hindi naman necessarily stock sa isang office. This time, dahil may konti na rin creative side doon sa trabaho ang ina-applyan ninyo, may hindi ka ng leeway to express yourself pagdating sa style. Now, bakit kailangan din natin mag-express ng sarili natin pagdating sa style? Kasi, insider secret, kaming mga HR people, we usually refer to you sa depende sa kung ano yung suot ninyo. I mean, we don't have time to memorize all your names, lalo na sa Pilipinas na maraming John, Mark, at Paul. So, ang usually, sinasabi namin would be, ah, yung naka-red, yung naka-blue, yung naka-scarf. So, dito napapasok yung pwede kayong mag-play on mga siguro statement pieces that would make you stand out dun sa crowd na lahat ay naka-blazer na item. So, let's talk about your blazer. This time, pwede nang hindi black na black na blazer. What you could do would be wear something gray. 
uh, which I prefer. I have a lot of gray blazers, as you can tell kung nagpo-follow na kayo sa Instagram. And um, that gray na blazer can help you stand out sa crowd na puro black ang suot. So, gray blazer, white shirt, black pants, and when it comes to shoes, pwede ka nang maging uh, a little bit, well, less conservative with something like, siguro leather na boots na medyo mababa yung cut, para at least uh, comfortable ka, pero nagsistand out pa rin. You can also wear something brown, or um, anything na suede, or anything na hindi kailangan na leather na leather pa rin. When it comes to your accessories, you can still wear your pearl earrings na pwede mo naman suot sa lahat ng mga outfits today. And then you can actually accessorize using a scarf, uh, like what I do. That way, dun sa interview, makikilala kayo as the girl with the gray scarf. And then with your shoes, you can wear something na either black na suede or leather or something brown para rin again magstand out ka. Just make sure that the colors work. And if you're like me, na hindi innate ang gift pagdating sa color matching, that's why we have Google. So you can always Google yung table ng colors that match with your outfits. I will look for one and I will actually link it sa description box sa baba. Third outfit. Now, pababa na tayo dun sa rong ng papunta na tayo sa casual. Ito na yung parang semi-casual na matatawag natin. So again, if you're talking about a position naman na siguro something like um, software development or IT, Yung mga jobs naman na hindi ka nila require umupo sa office the entire time, maybe my work work from home na option, or kung kayo ay nag apply sa isang startup company na medyo kulang mga tao, again, kaya kailangan nyo mag-research, uh, this would be a great way for you to build on yung current wardrobe ninyo. So again, with your white shirt and black pants, dito ka na may onting freedom to play with your blazer. You can use a blazer then again with a different color and then your shoes now can be more casual. Dun talaga mag-flip yun. So for example, kung kanina stock tayo with something like leather or suede, this time, dahil medyo free naman na yung position mo, you can wear something like uh, siguro a proper pair ng Air Force One na white. Something basic pa rin na, um, well, maganda sa mata, pero hindi naman sobrang loud. Okay? So, itabi nyo muna yung mga Kyrie ninyo na Iron Spider, yung mga maiingay na mga sapatos. This is not yet the perfect situation for that. Pero something casual like a white, clean, ha? Pair of sneakers will do. And if you want more information on that and how you can get away with wearing sneakers at work, I actually have a very special collab video with Sir Carlo Ople that you can watch right now. The link will be up here sa I button. Now, when it comes to accessories, this time you can be a little louder. Dahil nga, again, medyo mas creative na yung side. You can stick with your studs, with your pearls. Ako, I actually like wearing something distinct. For example, I like wearing a pair of earrings that I have na paw print. Yung itsura niya. Stud din siya, pero paw print. Bakit? Kasi to an interviewer na mahilig sa dogs or cats or my pet, uh, that would be a great conversation piece. So they would actually see that, spot that, and uh, automatically meron na kayong common ground. So sasabihin niya, oh, do you like dogs? And now you can go on and boast about your dog at home, which I do have. Kaya, again, maganda na yun na uh, way to build rapport dun sa mag interview sa'yo. This time, you will be remembered as, ah, you applicanting my aso. So at least, di ba, stand out ka pa rin. So let's talk about outfit number four. This is the most casual of the bunch. When you talk about casual, we're talking about positions like um, an artist, a writer, uh, someone who does social media, uh, the digital artist, something like that, na talagang nasa creative side na. Bakit? Kasi eh, usually companies, even if the CEOs are a little bit older, they are looking for people who present themselves as creative. Dahil creative din yung work na ginagawa mo. So something like a hero piece na na-determine mo na before, which will give you confidence, will be a great boost dun sa outfit ninyo. So ang tanong talaga is, ano ang comfortable kang suotin? Kasi by this time, anything pwede mo nang suotin. Sa case ko, I like wearing leather jackets. I know Pilipinas to at medyo mainit, pero I can get away with it, so why not? And the reason for that is because leather jackets do give me confidence. I don't know why. It's a psychological thing. But, but trust me, I'm a psychologist. It really does work. Because um, you know, ritualized behavior, it's an armor if I think about it. So when I wear that, I feel comfortable, I feel safe. And that's a great way to go. So what is it comfortable for you? Okay, Pick that out. It probably already works with the white shirt and black pants. If I'm wearing a black leather jacket, I just wear something simple for my shoes. Something like uh, itong white na tennis shoes ko from Adidas. So still white with red trim para kahit pa paano stand out. Something like an Air Force One na puti 
or yung Jordan 1 ko na mid or high, na very basic din ng colors. That way, again, meron ka pa ring hero piece. And now you have freedom to accessorize. Just don't be too loud. Again, they all have to work together. But now you can wear your statement earrings, you can wear um, a watch na medyo mas creative yung side, a necklace. Just don't wear them all together. Kasi baka gumukha ka namang Christmas tree. Unless Christmas elf yung position na inaplayan mo. Now, at the end of the day, what really matters is the letter F. Now, ano yung F na yan? We're talking about fit. Some people think kasi when you talk, when you talk about clothes, F as in fabulous. But you don't need to have clothes that look fabulous. What really matters is that they fit. They fit you, so make sure that your shoulders are good. Make sure that the length is good for your own body. Uh, something like that, I think you can Google on your own. And it also has to fit yung job description at yung company na pinag a ninyo. So when it comes to your Fs, it's better na they fit versus they're fabulous. Because maybe they're fabulous, but they're fabulous on someone else. So make sure that the fit is right, and it fits the company, and I'm sure you're golden pagkatapos nun. So again, this video is something I made, hopefully for you, whether uh, my budget o wala, you start out with what you have. Again, very basic, white shirt, black pants. Look at what you already have and try to play with those. And I'm sure you will get that job. All right, I hope you learned something new today. And if you want more content like this, we already talked about how to write a resume, how to find job leads, how to answer commonly asked interview questions. All of those links will be up here and that's a description box then sa baba. And if you want any specific na mga topics about getting hired and finding a job, you can reach out to me directly and send me your requests sa www.facebook.com slash get hired by Team Laika. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon para wala kayong mamamiss sa mga paparating pa lang ng mga lessons. And as we always say dito sa team, never stop learning. Aja, aja. Kaya niyan. I'll see you in my next video and bye for now. Hindi ko magagalang. Mahal yung camera. If you like this video, don't forget na tumalaw yung laway ko. Sorry. Tita ko siya eh. Sa ino. Ang ganda eh. Sorry. Alright. And it... Well... Thank you.